Welcome back everyone. It's Rini from Rini Rocks. Today's video I'm going to show you guys how I make my white pigment paste. So you're going to need a few things. You'll see here I have a glass cutting board and I'm using the smooth side. I have a spreader here, metal uh, spreader um, container to put your pigment paste in. And I normally don't measure when I do this, but for the for video's sake, I am actually going to measure this time round. So I have a tablespoon measure measuring thingy here, and you're going to need titanium dioxide and resin. So this is part one. So you'll need the actual resin and not the hardener. Right? If you don't if you have the hardener, you're going to, it's just not going to work. You just need the resin. Okay, so let's get started here. I'm going to open this up. I got this off Amazon. You'll find the link in the description box. And in all honesty, how I how I found out about this was um, watching a soap video. <laughs> And they use this to make their soaps white. Um, and I thought, okay, why wouldn't it work to make your white pigment paste? And I tried it, and it works. And I've shown you guys some of my ocean art, so you know it works. And yeah, I won't go back to anything else. So let's go. I'm going to mix quite a bit here. So this is well, a little bit over... Uh, a tablespoon. Let's do two. I think that should be okay. So we'll just do two tablespoons. And I've had this for quite some time, so I don't know. It's been months and months, like at least a year for, for, for real. And once you mix your pigment paste, it's good up until the life of your, the shelf life of your resin. Okay, so we have that. So you'll see here, as with all pigments, they have, um, they're not, uh, you know, they're like, they, what's the word I'm looking for? They're a little bit, uh, they're not as smooth at say, mic as mica is. So they'll have like little um, bumps and lumps in there. So the point is, is to, when you mix the part the resin in, into this. You just want to mix it enough that it's smooth and then you'll be good to go to use it right away. All right, so I'm going to pour this. Open that up. And I'm just literally, I don't know, I'm just going to pour until I think it's right. And you can just go by consistency. So I would say that that was probably about I'm pretty good at eyeballing measurements here. I would say that that's probably about two tablespoons of resin. So I'm just going to start folding the titanium dioxide into or the resin. And we'll add more if we need to add more, which I'm pretty sure we're going to need to do that. Most definitely. Add some more. Sorry. I put paper plates under my resin so I don't create a, you know, just keep the mess to a minimum. So that's, uh, I don't know, let's see, that was probably another tablespoon. So far we are at two tablespoons of titanium dioxide with three tablespoons of resin. And we're gonna, I'm gonna pat it in here. Okay, just a second. And I'm just gonna work it in.
definitely going to have to add more. Okay. So what were we at? Where I think that was four, right? Four to two ratio, roughly. When you guys make your own, you'll you'll feel it. You'll you'll uh, you can make it as um, I like mine pretty thick. So <laughs> you just do whatever you want. You, all you have to do is make sure that this is blended well and try to get eliminate as many of those lumps as you can and over time as this is sitting in the container it actually dissolves um, the uh, pigment more. I've never had issue with having lumps in my um, white pigment paste. Bring it all in together here. I'm not going to add any more resin to this. So remember, it's just part A, the resin, not the hardener. Actually, you probably could use um, the, uh, the hardener as opposed to the resin. It would just be thinner, but I use the um, the heart the the resin. As long as you don't use both, you're good to go. And that applies with any pigment paste that you make. All right, so I'm gonna bring try to get this in. It's kind of fun, actually. want to get all the powder incorporated into the resin. And then I just kind of stretch it out like this. Just go to town. pretty thick and I've never had issues with it hardening on me um, of course you know the cold the cooler the weather the the more the thicker it'll be if you heat this if this gets heated up it'll become um, more fluid but uh, I actually I don't know this is what I like I like this consistency So yeah, titanium dioxide, they use it to whiten There's the soaps. You can use this with other pigments to mix it with other pigments to make lighter different colors. As well, I like to lighten it, to lighten a red, to turn it pink or whatever, right? I'm gonna bring this in a little bit closer. See, it's uh, it's incorporating there pretty well. You know, like some maybe some other companies, whomever they add other uh, other fillers in here. I don't know what, but. For me, I make perfectly good waves with this without having to add anything else to it.
In fact, I actually, because now when I started using my um, own pigment paste, I, I, I think I was, I didn't make some of mine. And so I was using Casting Craft and I, I, I prefer mine. Yes, I just prefer it. Over Casting Craft. So you'll see it's pretty smooth now. I don't know how long I've been at this. But I don't think I don't think it's been that long. Looks good. All right, so now I can actually make some more ocean boards because I literally just use up the last, and I thought, okay, it's time. Time to make my peeps happy and time to make some for some ocean boards. I got my website, guys. I built my own website. I gotta tell you, that was a, a big, huge learning curve. Now I just got to, I actually had a big craft fair that I uh, partook in uh, over the this past weekend it was lots of fun got to meet some new people like lots of people and make new friends and um, you know yeah I had lots of fun shopped <laughs> while I was selling my stuff and uh, yeah we actually got a huge rainstorm on the Saturday we haven't had rain in over a month and a half and you know living in the um, a somewhat of a rainforest we need rain and our province is now burning it's pretty bad we were lucky here on the island but on the mainland it's not so great and um, but anyhow it rained so much on that Saturday, thunder and lightning, literally the entire city of uh, downtown Campbell River flooded. It was ridiculous. But just as fast as it started, it ended, the water just dissipated, and that was that. Anyways, okay, so look, there we go. Most of the lumps are gone. give it it's fun it's like icing a cake and cream cheese vanilla cream cheese icing mm. <laughs> okay I think we're good looks like I have it all pretty much well blended and now I'm just gonna stick it in a container And that's that. So I have my container here. Probably need two of these. I have another one. And I'm just going to I'm just going to pour it in. Scoop it in there. I think I might be good with one actually. go put it all in and then I just use a baby wipe to clean my board try not to waste anything and there you have it grab the wipe just to clean up my container here Oops, 
sorry, I'm off camera. And there you have it. It's all done. Let's put the lid on it. And I'll be good for quite a while with this until I need to make more. Okay. That's it. That's how I make my white pigment paste. Um, yeah, I'll have a link. Like I think I told you this, but I'll have a link to the um, in the description box for the titanium dioxide. And you know, you guys can use your own whatever resin you use. Yeah, and so I thought. So what did we do now? We did two tablespoons of titanium dioxide with four. Okay, I'm gonna say. Five in total, five tablespoons of um, um, the resin. That's it. Okay, guys. Thanks for joining me today.